So here is Munson doing his intermediate test. Uh, he was actually first to go for the uh, intermediate division. So you can see I have a nicely drug arena and just doing a little bit of prep work before we go in. I want to make sure that he is nice and focused and try to get him as relaxed and rideable as possible. So for this test, we enter at the canter. And then we are going to do a down transition to trot at X, which he does fairly well. And then we are going to track right. And he's got he's gotten a lot better. Uh, he can tend to evade the contact a little bit by doing a little bit of head wag, but that's been improving as he has been getting stronger. We went and did our medium trot. Now coming into our shoulder in. He's not as flashy as Riot, you know, as big of a mover or as much suspension, but uh, Munson can offer being very accurate and he tends to put in a very workmanlike test. So that half pass was pretty good. Nice and steady. Now I'm coming into my halt. And I lost that left hind there. Got a little distracted, silly boy. And then we go into our rain back. And proceed immediately into the trot. So that felt pretty good. And then down the long side, M to P, which is another medium trot. <laughs> Sometimes for Munson, uh, the medium trots or extended trots can be a lot of effort. Um, but he put in a fair amount of good effort there. And then again, shoulder in down the center. Now this is actually a little bit harder for him uh, because he has spent quite a fair amount of time at the prelim level and for the prelim test we have to do a leg yield off of that so uh, he's getting better about staying on my aids and um, being very rideable for that and instead of the first the very first test he did he thought he was supposed to do a leg yield there and now going into our extended trot could have a little bit more uh, sit and a little bit more lift I'm gonna work on Showing a transition, that was pretty average. He can actually, I can actually get him to show a little bit better one, but sometimes you have to ride the horse that's, that you have on that day. And so I'm going to really try to work to get my points here at the walk. I uh, really want him to kind of take his nose down and out and try to make that walk really nice and active. And I'm wanting the hind leg to overstep the front. Uh, we have a little bit of overstep, but he can actually do a little bit more. But I have to say it is nice to ride. Uh, he's pretty nice and quiet. <laughs> All of my rides are actually pretty nice and quiet compared to uh, Johnny who could get kind of explosive in the dressage, but that's okay. So now coming into the turn on the haunches. I'm going to keep the hind leg active. That's fairly decent. And now preparing for the turn on the right. I'm going to do a little shoulder four here. I just want him to make those nice small steps. That one was actually really good. I was very pleased with him for that. And then into the canter. And now into the medium canter. He can tend to feel like a little sports car sometimes, which is nice in the arena to really feel like I can have some rideability. And he got a little stiff, right, as I said that, uh, for the down transition. But now working for my serpentine. I have to make sure I can keep the jump in the canter. Make sure I can show him going straight across the arena for those serpentines. And now preparing to cross the diagonal for the canter walk. Again, he's not quite as strong as Riot is as uh, for those, but the transition kind of gets a little muddled 
I'd say. Uh, but he was obedient enough. And now I have my next medium canter, which is starting at V. So I'm going to try to position him in the shoulder four and then really show the difference in the medium canter and then back the transition at H. And then a nice serpentine. Which again, I feel like I need to kind of keep uh, the cadence up and have a little bit more jump. The canter is a little flat. And then going to prepare for my uh, canter walk transition from V to R. I mean, he's getting better with those. Like I said, he sometimes he is known to try to cheat. <laughs> um, but, you know, again, he's trying to be nice and obedient, so I'm appreciating his effort. And again, those will improve as he gets stronger. And now coming around for my half 10 meter, which he did very well. The judge commented that was a very nice turn. Down to the down transition and into the halt. Scoring a 29.8, so I was super pleased with him and his rideability. Now moving on to the show jump, which, again, the show jump has been a little bit of my weakness, and <laughs> it is Munson's as well. So always trying to work on relaxation with him and rideability. So all the things that we look for in our dressage chest, we want to transfer uh, to the show jump. He jumps the first one good, and I ride the second one pretty terrible. And I actually gave him a pat for that because he kept up the jump to a miserable spot. And then I come to fence three, and I feel like I got him right there, and uh, we took the front rail. So I was like, okay, Munson. And then I come to the Liverpool, and he just kind of catches it with the back. And I'm like, what the heck? I rode to a terrible distance and you jump clean and I'm riding to good distances and we're having the rails. Don't understand. He gives that one another whack too. So I'm like, okay. We have three down. I have a fair amount of course to do. And I mean, he still feels like he's jumping well. He's just hitting them right. He jumps that one good, puts in a good effort. And then coming to this in and out, again, wasn't very good, but he jumps those clean. And that was actually kind of a big deal for him, too, because he gets worried about people uh, when they come in to fix the poles. Jumps the Swedish well. And he actually tried to kick out behind and took that pole. So I have four rails. But again, he feels like he's jumping good. He's just hitting them right. Jump the second to last, and I'm like, okay, Munson, we really need to focus here. And he actually keeps this one up for me. So, eh, wasn't our best, but I was pleased with some of the efforts he put in. And we are the trailblazers out on cross country, first on course, and of course it's raining. Um, but Munson seems to really like the rain. And, uh... Being first on course, it's kind of I'm having to figure out how the lines are going and riding. So coming to this first combination, which was a bending line, which could have been done in the five or six, and Munson just nailed it in the five. So you'll get to see this in the slow-mo now. I'm coming into the first uh, roll top there, and uh, he sees my feels my opening left rein, and we both kind of see the line. This is actually a pretty tough angle to jump at, and he is just feeling super confident, and I'm feeling really good with him holding the lines for me. I was super pleased with how he did that line, feeling very mature. And so now I'm coming to another table. You can see his ear just flicker back there. He really is just at my fingertips for the most part. But now we're coming to the water, which... In the past, he had had kind of confidence issues with, but now he seems to be kind of over that, and he jumped that super well. And then coming to uh, the next little table, jumps that perfectly out of stride. 
And here you can see the slow-mo of the table. Just super good in balance. And now heading to the split rail oxer. And at this point, he's just feeling super. We're just cruising around, uh, finding all the good spots for the most part. And now heading to another accuracy question, which you'll see my dad kind of is walking and filming at the same time. Uh, this is a skinny arrowhead to a four stride to a corner. And he does that super. And you can see on my helmet cam just how narrow in the line uh, to the corner was and he was just super there like again just can't say how proud I was of Munson this whole time he was really really good coming into the backfield we have this uh, other table to jump and I really want to prepare him because we have another tough combination which is the uh, two tricaners in a row which they're jumps that have ditches underneath them so the strides in a four and him being a little peaky I had to growl at him a little bit there. You can see he stalled some, but I was uh, really pleased that he went. And he kind of stuck it out for me there. So he is uh, really starting to do it. And he's giving me a super feeling. Um, a little reminiscent of Johnny, which is nice to kind of have for uh, him that's up and coming. So jumped this table right out of stride. And again, he is very efficient and he's pretty balanced so I'm not really having to muck around too much changing his balance so uh, we can be pretty quick across the ground without being uh, fast essentially with our speed. Uh, coming to this table I do have to kind of rate him down a little bit to make sure we get to the base and jump that in a good shape. And then coming to the water, this water has been his nemesis in the past. It's a pretty scary roll top for Munson. Uh, so I stay quiet and positive and he jumps in and I've just cracked a smile. Super pleased and <laughs> he really helped me out there for not a very good distance on the Chevron out. Uh, but he stayed straight as an arrow and uh, we actually moved up into sixth place with this pretty nice efficient round and yeah, I was Really, really proud of Munson in this uh, go-round.